All right, so I thought this would be helpful, doing a little bit of narrative sparring. So right here, I'm sparring with one of my blue belts. His name is Tim. He's really good. He's up and coming. Um, he's pretty athletic around, so i got to be sneaky. I think we're doing side mount startup right here, to, uh, twisting arm control specifically, because that was a lesson right there. So right there, I was able to trap his foot. Now he did a good job at getting out, I'm retrapping. That's the battle. I'm able to get that underhook in. And now I've kind of got a little lockdown. I'm trying to kind of rock him back and forth so I can try to get him off balance. He's doing a good job at sprawling back right there to keep his weight. I think I try to roll him over right here. He goes he goes for a good wizard because he doesn't want me to take the back. Yep, there he goes. So I was able to kind of trap his foot right there. And I was able to trap and because he wizarded me, he didn't have a post. So I was able to load him on top of me and roll him over. And that's how the move worked. Right now, I've got a good neck hug. Neck hug is probably one of my favorite attacks I like to do from the mount. Try to bump right there. Try to put his feet in his armpit. My armpits try to push me off. Try to kind of fight. He did a good job at throwing me off, and I decided to go to side mount. That way, he wouldn't get on top. He tried to take me down. I sprawled. Trapped his arm. I'm in a turtle. I think I went for a choke, and I was able to trap his arm. Now I have his arm trapped underneath my leg. Now I'm trying to oh, I switch it right there. I was going for an arm lock. That's what made him switch. So I windshield wipered my feet over from one side to the other one. Feeding my hand through his collar. I really like a clock choke from here. I think he defends. Yeah, he falls back. But I still have his arm trapped in a crucifix. And I get a cross collar choke from the crucifix. So the cross collar choke is very similar to the clock choke. And now we slap hands. We start there. Side mount start up. I was uh, being a little sneaky there because he, I taught a, an escape where he slides his hand underneath my leg, so I stepped off before he could get out. So now we're playing a little bit of side control. Tim's good at uh, picking his spots to explode. Like I said, he's athletic, so I have to be careful. I have to make sure that I don't move too quick or else he'll bump and roll me over. I think he's trying to go for a headlock roll right here, but my arm is, is, on, is on the wrong side for that. So because of that, I'm able to kind of trap his arm walk around north-south, try to trap it. I'm using my head right there to pin it. Get my figure four grip right there for Kimura. Trying to see, oh, and I step over. So I'm trying to use my leg right here to apply the pressure instead of just using my hands to rotate. Cause Tim's pretty strong. So this is a good idea that you can do to use your leg to try to apply the torque on their shoulder versus your arms. So right here we roll. Trying to be as nice to him as possible. I don't want to just rip his shoulder out. So I think he rolls over and we re-roll. Yeah, he rolls. And I think I readjust right here. And I think I lock it in even tighter. There we go. Now I put my hand on the ground. I start to use my leg. And I'm pushing it toward his head. You couldn't really see it. I was taking my south leg. And I was pushing it upward toward his head. Which causes a lot of stress on that shoulder. Like I said, this is side mount startup. So now we're kind of alternating. If I tap or he taps me chain sides so now we're starting in side control looks like he's going for a twisting arm yeah he's doing a good job he goes for that had an arm truck right there but i was able to move my arm over kind of create a little bit of space he could have kept working it but he wasn't too committed to it i bumped him right there as hand to post i'm just trying to really see what his mount pressure is i clear his hooks right there I'm trying to see what he's going for go for an elbow escape he does a good job. He steps off right there. Now we're more in a headlock position. So when that happens right here, I'm able to roll him over. He, he for some reason, stayed control of my head and didn't have anything else. I think he was going for my leg possibly. But I was able to turn on my side and, and, and load him on top and roll him over. And that's time.